Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some diggables. These are buckwheat puffs. I have the Simply Maine Sea Salt. And mine are the Sharp White Cheddar and the Savory Garden Herb. These were $4.99 each at the Fresh Market, and they're actually from Maine. Uh, we haven't, I don't feel like we've had a lot of food no, from Maine. I really, really. don't. Um, I just, I don't think. I don't remember a lot. No, I, they're gluten-free. It says, we support regenerative farming, Maine sourced ingredients, crispy and delicious, complete protein, 100% whole grain. This is a four ounce, 113 gram bag. Diggables is rooted in Maine. We believe that snacks should taste great and be fun to eat. Be made from naturally gluten-free buckwheat, rich in antioxidants, and support pollinators and build soil health through sustainable regenerative agriculture. Uh, let's see. Gluten-free, non-GMO, vegan. Uh, four servings are in the container. One ounce, 28 grams, are 120 calories. And these are made in Portland, Maine. So they're in a, tree, a peanut and tree nut free facility too, so. Yes, yes. Uh, the ingredients are buckwheat, sunflower oil, and sea salt. Yeah. That's pretty, it, that's pretty, great. Pretty easy. Now, they have a tab at the top where you can tear down. We do not like to tear down because we like to roll these up to put them up in the cabinet, you know? So they don't seal very well when you rip the whole side out of them. Okay. They so these like, are... They look like they're, um, like they would be sweet. Like a whole cinnamon. Oh, like, like a cinnamon. Yeah. yeah, a churro type. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's a different flavor. Not oh. bad, it's just different. It's like a bugle. I can see that. Yeah, the, um, they're kind of pasty when you eat them. They get all stuck in your teeth as this glob of stuff. But mm -hmm. um, I don't mind the flavor. I don't either. It's a it's a little different. Mm -hmm. It's a little. Um, I do like the amount of salt on them. It's a little packy peanut flavor, but yeah, <laughs> what yeah, I mean, really. Peanut it's, flavor. Yes, because yeah, I mean, you kind of do feel like you've eaten uh, taken a bite of a cardboard box. Mm -hmm. um, it is that type of thing. But, but then again, it does kind of remind you of a plain bugle. Yeah, they're, um, not, bad. they're not crunchy at all, no hard edges. They're not, um, I don't think they're as um, crispy, crunchy as like a Cheeto puff. No, they're not. They're, no, they're not, not as hard. puffy. Yeah. Th these are more a little bit more dense, and, but they're not as like crunch crunch right these yeah. are softer to yeah. eat so they're still there's they still have a firmness to them but they're a lot easier to eat yeah they will remind you of beagles but beagles is like more of a corn flavor these are yes. not corny at all no they're not yeah. but but, but they do kind of remind you of that, yes. that toasty kind of flavor yeah, yeah they do uh this one is the sharp white cheddar hmm. uh 100 whole grain i do have to say the aftertaste is not bad at all there's really not a lot of aftertaste at all which is a good thing no that's true uh, four servings, one ounce, 28 grams, 120 calories. This has buckwheat, sunflower, buckwheat, sunflower oil, cheese, whey solids, buttermilk solids, salt, natural flavor, and then it has some other stuff. For It's an anti-caking agent, so uh, it just says cheese. Okay. <laughs> You know, some things you get, the reason I talk about the aftertaste is sometimes you get these are made out of different things than corn and they, they have like a, a very earthy aftertaste. These don't have anything like that going on. I don't know if I've ever had anything made out of buckwheat before. I'm sure I have. Those are a little crunchy. I don't get any cheese. You don't get the cheese flavor? No, not a lot. Not even a little bit. <laughs> See, it reminds me of like a white cheddar. Well, it is white. It is white cheddar. Oh, whoops. That's what reminds you of white cheddar. <laughs> well, I just read cheese in the yeah, ingredients. Yeah. I forgot the name of it was supposed to be white cheddar. Well, there, there you go. See, I taste it. I don't taste anything. I mean, it might be there, but it's so faint. 
Uh, yeah, it's it's white it's white cheddar. Yes, that's the name of them. That's what it is. It's it's white cheddar. To me, um, I immediately was reminded uh, uh, why I got it so quick is because it reminds me of the popcorn. When you have popcorn with white cheddar, yeah, that's a stronger flavor. It's stronger, but that it tastes like white cheddar. I don't get it. Yeah, I, I definitely get it, and and I think it's a completely different flavor from the first Oh, it is one. definitely completely different. Um, I really like it, because I, like I do get the white cheddar. I think it tastes good. I like it too, but I don't taste cheap. Okay. Well, what do you? Th what would you compare it to then if you don't? There is nothing I can compare it to. Oh. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess there's some flavor there of cheese, but I, I, I wouldn't have said, if you were to give me that and say, what is this flavor? I wouldn't have said, ooh, that's white cheddar. Uh -huh. I would have said... I'm not sure. It's not bad. But I don't know what it is. Right. Now, let me see the name first before I go into the ingredients. Garden Herb. Garden Herb's going to have red bell pepper, mm. uh, spices, carrot powder, tomato powder, white distilled vinegar. So, uh, we have some different things in this I would have thought garden. They would have had some rosemary and basil and oregano and all kinds of stuff. Oh, these have like little green flakes on, flakes on them. They all kind of look the same, so I'm trying to keep them separate. Although it doesn't really matter for the picture, honestly. Hmm, okay. Kind of reminds me of a ranch. Mm. It kind of reminds me of a ranch with a little bit of bell pepper in it. Do you get a little ranch, like a little zip, a little zing there? Yeah, there is something that has that. But it's probably the vinegar. Garlic powder. Yeah, that must be. Mm, I like this. I don't... Do you specifically taste bell pepper? Yeah, I get a little like a, a, a fresh bell pepper kind of flavor. It's not strong, mm -hmm. but it's there. I like these. I, They're I like nice. Those. I like those better um, than the cheese. It would be cool if they did a ranch version. Yeah, or a jalapeno version. Uh, oh, they could do all kinds of things. Yeah. They, yeah, they, they could do all kinds of these. Um, I, I like these, and these are nice. You can tell the difference, and you can tell it's... Uh, yeah, those are different flavors for all of them. All yes. three of them have a different yes. taste. They all have the same texture, basically, but they all have a different flavor. Right. Uh, for me, my favorite is going to be the white cheddar. Yeah. And then I will say that it's uh, garden herb. probably the garden herb. Yeah. And then the white cheddar. And right. The, the plain ones are not bad. They're just plain. This is one of those snacks that, uh, like, there's four servings in here, but it's a serving's only 120 calories. You're going to be able to eat a whole lot of these mm -hmm. for very little calories. You know, just like a rice cake or something like that. You're going to be able to eat a lot of these. And so I would say for something like that, if you're kind of trying to cut back on potato chips and stuff like that, I think these would make a really nice nut. Yeah, or if you need gluten-free or something like that, these are a nice, they were gluten-free. Peanut before. free, well, they're peanut free. Did I read gluten-free? I don't know if they were gluten-free or not. Yes, gluten-free, you're right, yes. Um, so being gluten-free, if you need that kind of diet, then these would be a good um, source of snacking. Yeah, I agree with you. So you'll have to let us know if you've ever heard of this. Like I said, uh, we very rarely, I think, have anything from Maine to try. So I think it's pretty cool. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.